for months since the world was stunned by the news of the crocodile hunter Steve Irwin's sudden death. Please welcome his wife, Terry Irwin. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm a huge fan of what you're doing, what Steve did, and uh, and I Thanks. thank you for being here. And Thanks. four months, it just it feels to me like it was a lot longer ago than, but to, yeah. to you it probably doesn't. It. It, it ebbs and it flows, and I tell you, sometimes I expect him to walk through the door, and other times I just think it's like one of those really good movies that you want to remember, mm -hmm. and, and sometimes you think, oh, I'm not remembering all of the last 14 years, but I think that's just a protection device. But I tell you, it's been a great ride. I've had a good time. Steve was never afraid for his own mortality. He, he, you know, countless times he has said to me, okay, now I can die. This is the most incredible thing I've ever done. Now I can die. And then we'd go swim with the manatees and he'd go, okay, now I can die. And then, you know, we'd go do something else. But, it was great. but speaking of that, I mean, I would think that because of what he did for a living, it's just like being married to a fireman or a, or a policeman. You, you have to know somewhere like, wow, he's going out and doing something that, that this could be the day. I mean, did you ever think that way, or this was a you know, total surprise? Yeah, you know, I thought that way, but not with wildlife. He was very, very professional with wildlife. Loved them so much, all the animals. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it's like um, you know, a timber feller having a limb fall on him while he was on a picnic. It's just the most bizarre way. Yeah. But, right. you know, I think we all have different coping mechanisms and for Steve he gave us such a great gift in that he he wasn't afraid he knew what the work that he did was just as important as as anything that people lay their lives on for mm -hmm. and and I'm just very proud of him I'm very proud to be carrying on with what he's doing I'm proud to be here in LA I can't believe I'm meeting you I'm oh that's sweet fan. that's but sweet thank it's, you it's uh, something that helps us all carry on as a family the uh, Robert said the other night at dinner he looks at us very intently and he goes we're still a family oh. and I thought it's true that's adorable. It's hard, but it's true. Yeah, but and and also, I mean, we we feel like he was, you know, our family. You know, we yeah. watched it so much. But here's my question, and I used to watch all the time. Mm. The same with Jeff Corwin. I watch, but but, you know, Steve would get in in the water. I, I had a ranch for a short time where there were rattlesnakes everywhere. Yeah. And I was told to wear boots and long pants and everything. He's like in the water with crocodiles, barefoot, with shorts all the time. Shorts. Yeah. Like, is that? What's how do you how do you just go through swampy water with shorts and no shoes on? Well, I figure if a crocodile nailed him with those shorts on, a croc would have broken his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> just for starters. Yeah. But um, no, Steve was just very careful and loved the animals and like with venomous snakes mm -hmm. dealing with rattlesnakes. Right. He said the object of the game is not to get bitten. He never never carried anti venom. He said um, people were scarier to him than wildlife. Mm -hmm. He said crocodiles. They're going to try to kill you, but people will sometimes pretend to be your friend first. So yeah. he said, people are scare me more than yeah. animals. That's kind of true. Yeah. That, that's kind of true. But he was just extremely in love with the animal. And I saw him in trees with orangutans that would hug him. Wow. I saw him in African rivers with hippos that didn't eat him. It's just amazing. The that's... animals would come up to him. It wasn't like he was wrangling everything. Yeah. I'm they, sure they could sense the, the, the kindness that he had and the compassion and the, so. the passion for them. I mean, I remember watching the, one of the shows that he was doing and there had been a fire and he sat there with a lizard that was dying and held the lizard mm. and, until, I, I don't know if you remember that one, yes, he just had I it do. in his hand. And it just, I mean, I started crying watching it because he just cared so much about every single living Absolutely. creature. Absolutely. And I think that was what was so special about Steve. He didn't put on a suit and tie and go be a wildlife presenter. He lived it, and yeah. the Irwin family's living it. And, yeah. and, and you're living, I mean, you lived on the zoo. You still live yeah. there at the zoo. That yeah. must be incredible, too. Oh, it's great. When I'm hanging clothes on the line, I'm not kidding. I can hear tigers roaring, lemurs screaming, elephants trumpeting, crocs roaring, kookaburras, dingoes, and parrots from my clothesline. <sighs> 
That's it's amazing. beautiful. What, a, what an amazing life that is that, that you had. That's amazing. And that oh, you're still yeah. doing. That's incredible. No, Steve's mapped out the next 10 years for us. We no. talk like he's still here. It's yeah. like, oh my gosh, we better get this project done, you know, because yeah. Steve wanted it done by now. Yeah. So well, it's wonderful. I'm, I'm sure he is still here. I'm sure. I, I mean, think so. The amount of love that, that you could, at the service, and, and that, that the amount of people that loved him, I'm sure he's still here. I can't thank everyone enough. It's, yeah. it's a long road I've got ahead of me, but the love and support that I've gotten from people, yeah. the letters from America, the outpouring of sympathy, he would have never believed it. Yeah. He was a very humble man, and he would have been just shocked. Well, hopefully he's seeing life. it now. I think so. We're, uh, and we get to meet Bindi. She's going to come out in a minute. Yep. We're going to talk to her. She's got a show, and we're going to talk to her love of, you know, about her love of animals. So we'll be right back with Bindi. Excellent. Thank you. I want to try and be 